This lesson will cover the Lesson 2-5 warm-up for Secondary 1 math, writing and interpreting linear inequalities in one variable. Number 1. Tipper, Mrs. Moulton's dog, eats four times as much as Mrs. Moulton's cat, Snuggles. If together they eat one and one-half cups of food, how much does Tipper and Snuggles eat separately? Let F represent the amount of food Snuggles eats. So what is the question? What are we trying to figure out? So let's go ahead and look back at the problem. In that second sentence, it ends in a question mark. So that's probably what we're looking for. It says, if together they eat one and one half cups of food, how much, here's our question, how much does Tipper and Snuggles eat separately? So we know how much Tipper eats, how much Snuggle eats. To answer this question, we need to actually write an equation. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our problem and find important information. So we know that Tipper, Mrs. Moulton's dog, eats four times as much as Mrs. Moulton's cat, Snuggles. So four times as much as Snuggles. All right, if together, so together, that means that's their total, they eat one and one-half cups. So there's our total. We also know that F represents the amount of food Snuggles eats. So writing this out, we have Snuggles equals F. Well, we know that Tipper eats four times as much as Snuggles, so we can write that as 4F. And we also know that Snuggles and Tipper together, so if we add up how much they eat, it gives us one and one-half cups of food. So we have Snuggles, which is F, plus Tipper, which is 4F, equals one and one-half. Next, we could actually combine these on the left, and f plus 4f's is 5f's equals 1 and 1 half cups of food. So either of these would work for our equation, but now we need to solve our equation. So I'm going to take this 5f equals 1 and 1 half, and we're going to go ahead and solve that. So I use the second equation. I'm going to divide by 5 on both sides of our equation, since it was 5 times f doing the opposite, and we get f is equal to 3 tenths, or you may have gotten it as 0.3. Since f represents how much Snuggles eats, we can say Snuggles eats 0.3 cups of food. We can also now figure out what Tipper eats by multiplying 4 by 0.3, which results in 1.2 cups. Okay, number two. Sam wants to go to the carnival. The entrance fee is $3, and each ride is $0.40. Cents. If Sam has $24, how many rides can he go on? Let R represent the number of rides. So, our question again, how many rides can he go on? Now we need to find information to help us write an equation to find out how many rides he can go on. So, Sam wants to go to the carnival. The entrance fee is $3, so there's one element. Each ride is $0.40. Cents. He has $24, and R represents the number of rides. So let's put ourselves in Sam's situation. If he goes to the carnival and he tries to go in, he's got to pay $3. So that's the first thing we're going to put into our equation. And then he's going to go to try to ride some rides, so he's going to have to pay $0.40 cents when he goes on a ride. Well, how many rides is he going to go on? Well, we don't know, so we're going to call that R. So he's going to pay $0.40 cents R times until he reaches $24 spent or his total of $24. So now we can just draw a line down from our equal sign and solve this. This is our equation, and now we're going to solve this equation. So we're going to do the opposite of what's happening to our variable r. So we're going to start out by subtracting 3 from both sides of the equation, which leaves us with 40 cents times r equal to 21. Then we're going to divide, since we're multiplying the 40 cents times r, we're going to divide by the 40 cents, which results in R being equal to 52.5. So Sam can go on 
52 rides. Notice there's a difference here. I said he can go on 52 rides, but we found R to be 52.5. Well, he can't go on half of a ride, and so our answer is that Sam can go on 52 rides. Number three, Zach watches TV three times as much as Joel. Their combined total of TV watched per day is eight hours. How many hours a day does Zach watch TV? Let Z represent the number of hours that Zach watches TV. So let's go back to our question in here. It said, how many hours a day does Zach watch TV? So we're only concerned about Zach, but we're going to have to use Joel to help us. So let's go ahead and go through this problem again and finding the information we need. Zach watches TV three times as much as Joel. Their combined total, so combined total is of TV watched per hour a day is eight hours. So ours our total. Total is eight. And we know that Z represents the number of hours a day Zach watched TV. Before we write our equation, let's write down what we do know. We know that the hours that Zach has watched TV is represented by Z. And we know that Zach watches three times as much as Joel. So whatever Joel's expression to represent how much he watches, maybe we call it J, that means that Z, or what Zach watches, is three times the J. So their combined TV total uh, watching time is eight hours. So if we use J, we could write or Z, we could say Z plus J equals 8. But that's not helpful for us in writing an equation with one variable. So we're going to replace Z with 3J. So we're going to say 3J plus J equals 8. And this is one way we could write our equation. If we combine our like terms, though, we could write it simpler and say, oh, 4J equals 8. And this is how I'd write my equation, or the equation I would write down. Either of these will work, though. Okay, so this or this will work. Next, we're going to finish this solving of this problem. We have 4j equals 8. So we're going to divide by 4 on both sides of our equation. So j equals 2. And that means that Joel watched 2 hours of TV in a day. Now, that's not what we're looking for. If we go back to our question, how many hours a day does Zach watch TV? So we can say, Zach watches six hours of TV each day or a day. Now, we didn't have to write down what Joel did and the reason we ended up with six is because we took two and we multiplied it by three like our expression for Zach. So two times three is six and that's how we found that Zach watches six hours of TV a day. This concludes the video of the Lesson 2-5 warm-up for Secondary 1 Math, Writing and Interpreting Linear Inequalities in One Variable.